Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and today I'm going to show you five great tips on how to use bookmarks in Power BI. What is a bookmark? A bookmark lets you save the current structure of the report. It keeps slicer or filters, drilling and highlights. More importantly, it allows you to come back to that view within a click of a button. In this video, I'm going to focus on report users and show you how to get the most out of your Power BI report. These tricks are going to help you to save some time and become more efficient. So without further ado, let's jump into this. First of all, let's slice and dice our report to see the results for Germany and the small business market segment. We go up to the top right corner and click on bookmarks. Then add the personal bookmark and we name it accordingly. Then we just click on the save button. Now let's repeat once again, but this time from Mexico and mid market. Go up to the top add the personal bookmark just like that at the time of the recording there are no ways to quickly share your personal bookmarks with others but stay till the end and I'll show you a life hack this time filter our report to channel partners if you know that a certain view is the most critical to you. Make sure that you tick the box next to the make default view. So every time you log back into Power BI, it will be your welcome screen. Just keep that in mind that you can save as many bookmarks as you want, but you can only have one default view. Speaking of creating multiple bookmarks, once you saved a few views, to quickly navigate through them is a breeze. You just come up here to the top and in a click of a button, you change the view. Isn't this great? You don't have to save multiple sheets in an Excel file just to achieve a personalized view for different users. Now that we have covered personal bookmarks, it's time to mention company-wide bookmarks. Let's say that your company has a really clever analytics team and they provide report users predefined bookmarks with insights. The only thing that you have to do is click on show more bookmarks. After that, you will find this predefined company-wide bookmarks immediately and within a click of a button, you can use them. If you are lost at any stage or just want to revert back to the default view, you can always click on the reset to default button, which will achieve just that. I mentioned before that there is a little hack that you can use to potentially share personal bookmarks with others in your organization. It may not be allowed for all of you, but it's something that you can test and consider as a viable option. So let's go back to my computer. Once you created a bookmark, add the comment and tag the people you want to share that view with. They will get a notification and will see the comment. All comments are auto generating a bookmark as well. Once they log into Power BI, they can view that comment and essentially save that view as their own personal bookmark.
Bookmarking is another reason why you should move your reports to Power BI. If you like the video, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Thanks for watching. See ya.